What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I know I didn't drop a video last week, but that's because I had to go to a wedding and I also had like a fight night thing at my dojo. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I'm dressed up in my skin guard right now, my rash guard right now, because I just came from jujitsu. But I'm back. This is almost the end of the year. And I was thinking because I had a lot of pivotal moments with a lot of my friends and family and people who I love over this past week. And there's some people, some of my friends are like leaving South Florida because it's just expensive. Like a lot of the people who are born here can no longer afford to live here because within the past three years, the price, the cost of living has just skyrocketed. And it just got me to think like, man, you know, I'm born and raised in South Florida, but it just got me thinking like, you know, Miami's changing, South Florida's changing. Um, but life is about, you know, change and growth. And I was thinking to myself, is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Or is it just a thing that happens, change? So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, South Florida is changing. Now, as a real estate agent, I know it's part of my job to, you know, Partially, I'm a salesperson, but I never think of my job as that. But it's part of my job to sell, you know, real estate, but also South Florida, because I think this is one of the best cities in the world, in America, in the U.S., that you can move to. Um, the state of Florida has so many benefits for your average person, you know, we have no state income tax, which is great because you can keep more of your money here. We have great weather, which I take for granted because I'm born and raised here. And, you know, it's winter <laughs> here. Technically, we only have really two seasons in South Florida, which is wet and dry season. We don't have like fall, spring, summer. I mean, that's on the calendar, but that's not how the weather acts <laughs> they, they they do not uh convey messages but um yeah i take that for granted because you know it's been like around 60 the 60s low 60s high 50s and i'm just freezing <laughs> you know i'm used to like 70 80 degree weather like year round so we have great weather um low income tax great i mean no state income tax great place to uh, live and start a business and the beaches and a nice nightlife and great restaurants and just beautiful um, nature because the Everglades is here you know if you're into like really going out into nature where there's like no phone signal or anything you know we have that and I, I think it's just everything like we have that just that culture here as well. Like it's a very cultural city, cultural place. But there are a couple things that are negatives about South Florida, which I wanna talk about because you can't always talk about the good without addressing the bad because then you're just talking about a dream and not the reality of what is a thing so you know cost of living i mean it's tough times the the economy has not been great for basically all of americans for a while now and you know the cost of living has went up everywhere but especially in south florida oh my god like i got in the industry in 2020 and I remember, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but one of the first uh, listings I was a part of with my mentor was in, what is it? Uh, 
in the colonial area and it was for like three something it was three something i'm gonna put it up on the screen because i don't remember but um it was a full house i think it was a three two um no hoa in a regular neighborhood you know that now in 2023 at the end of december 2023 now just thinking of that it's just like amazing because that house today is more than half a million dollars three years later now growth is great the point of life is to grow but when something grows so exponentially fast and salaries and wages cannot keep pace with it it ends up causing a lot of financial stress and hardship on the people who live here and that's what's happening a lot you know a lot of my friends and family are leaving south florida moving to orlando or texas or um one of them to new mexico because it's just too expensive <laughs> like it's really expensive and that is on the home buying process on the rental market i think miami-dade county has the highest rental market in terms of the the explosion of growth of it how how the rent has went up like crazy and you can't even blame the landlords because their property values have went up therefore their taxes have went up and insurance has went up you know we do have hurricanes which is uh you know part of living here we're used to it but a lot of insurance companies are, you know, a little bit nervous because property values have literally 2x, 3x, and now they have to insure these homes. And, you know, hurricane season, we get it from August to November. And thank God we haven't had any hurricanes since like 2017. But, you know, when one comes and creates all this disaster, you know, it. You know insurance companies don't like to pay but so they raise their rates they raise their rates and a lot of companies have left florida because of that reason so huh, i mean it's it's inevitable it, i feel like we're going through growing pains right now you know i don't want to be doom and gloom but i do want to give like what is real what is happening in south florida at the moment so the cost of living is high um to buy a home here it's it's really expensive now if you want like a single family home you're gonna spend half a million dollars unless you go more south to to like homestead florida city out west where um the redlands area is past chrome you could find something in the four hundred thousands but I mean, that, that is just something that we've been dealing with, cost of living. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about uh, in South Florida, depending on where you come from, we have a large, large uh, Latin community here, okay? So, which is great. There's a lot of people who come from Colombia, I'm in Peru, a lot of my, I have a lot of friends who are from Colombia actually. And then I have uh, a client who I'm working with from Peru. And then you have a lot of people from Cuba because you know, Cuba is like right around like 90 miles from Key West is Cuba. You have a lot of people from the DR. So Spanish is almost like a first, second language here. So if you don't speak it, you might have a tough time getting around. <laughs> especially in certain areas, you know, which I know some people who just speak English, it can be a little bit frustrating. You know, uh, we we try to work as my, you know, Miamians, we try to work together and everything, but the language barrier is a real thing here. If you don't speak the language, you know, you're gonna have to pull out that Google Translate and, you know, translate Espanol sometimes. So that is another thing that um, South Florida, if you move here, to expect, you know, 
language, maybe some language barriers and um, a large Latin community and everything like that. So, um, and then the final thing I wanted to talk about is just, man, all the construction that is going on here in South Florida, in Miami, you know, but, um, man, I've just, just driving around, you know, I'm 30 years old now and, <laughs> and I just see like so many places have changed. Like there's so, so many things that I grew up seeing are now gone and, 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 and it's changing, you know? So, I think the point of this video, what I'm trying to say is growth and change are inevitable in life. But it depends on how you handle it. You know, I don't see myself leaving South Florida because South Florida to me is home, um, but it is changing significantly. There's a lot of people from up north moving down here. And a lot of these people have a lot of wealth and they're buying up, you know, South Florida in comparison to where they're coming from. The real estate here is cheap. So they're definitely raising property values and everything in mass. It's, it's literally like a great migration down here because they understand that South Florida is a great place to live and everything. So hmm, how do I feel about it? I, I feel one or two ways. I just hate to see people who I love and people who are my are my friends move away uh, and see them go. And on the other hand, I do like that the city is growing and, and it's becoming more of a global city than it already is. But the rate of growth is happening so fast and the cost of living here it's very difficult for people who are native here to actually live here. Um, I just fear that the authenticity of the city, of the culture, will go with it. I don't want South Florida to turn into like this trendy place, you know, like a fake city. Like I've never been to Dubai, but I know Dubai gets a lot of criticism for being like a fake city, but, um, I don't want it to turn into something like that, you know, like a tourist, you know, place where people just come because they they just know like highlight areas and no one really lives here. So anyway, that's just me rambling, just talking about my thoughts. I think I might have one more video for the end of the year, just re recapping my year 2023, which has been like a tumultuous year for me but also a year of growth a lot of a year of healing i've learned a lot this year about just personal growth that i know it's going to help win my business and build myself up as um one of the top realtors in south florida and yeah just celebrating you know new years and i always love like New Year's because I always feel like it's an opportunity to just change and better yourself. Like life is about constantly growing and evolving and I'm growing with it. I'm growing with it. I'm growing with the city. I'm growing and I'm changing with the city day by day, improving upon myself, bettering myself as a man, as a real estate agent as a business owner and yeah so hmm. that's all i have to say i'll see you guys probably sooner than next week because i missed a video last week and 
one of my most important videos that I think about is the first one I started on this journey called consistency of just posting a video every week. I want to remain posting a video every week, regardless of whatever I'm doing. Remember, I'm running a business. I'm a jiu-jitsu athlete. Um, and I also have a full-time job at DHL. So I have a lot going on in my life. It's very busy, but that's no excuse. That's just pieces of me. And stick with me, grow with me, watch my journey. I'll see you guys later. Peace.